His business was destroyed in a fire, and then he thought he would lose it to the borough where it's all located. But Chris, a surprise for that business owner tonight. Yeah, Jason, imagine your longtime family business goes up in flames. And then before the time you had a chance to think about it, you are being told you have to sell your property. Well, this is the property we're talking about tonight. A big change of heart. It was very distressing and upsetting to us and my dad especially. Days after fire destroyed his Ambler auto repair shop on South Main Street, property owner Pasquale Riccardi got even worse news. The borough of Ambler wanted his property and was going to use eminent domain to force him to sell it to the borough to expand a parking lot at the nearby SEPTA rail station. But in a packed meeting room, a stunned crowd heard council reversed course. The agenda item is moot. We wish the property owner well in his efforts to either sell or rebuild. After two weeks of sleepless nights preparing for the worst, Riccardi was told he can keep his property he owned since 1977. But why the change of heart? I don't know. God. Jesus. It's God. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. We've been praying. I thank him for not taking my property. That's all I can say. Yeah. Amen. He's going to decide. He might want to rebuild. He might want to sell. He doesn't know. I mean, we're, we're right now we're just reveling in the fact that now we have some. Dis we can make our decision what we want to do with it. And now Riccardi and his family say they will concentrate on it, getting a demolition crew, getting this building up and running. But most importantly, they get a chance to do whatever they want with the property. They say they are very thankful to the borough for hearing them out and making that decision.